Okay, here I am. I take a stand at the nation's capital. There's the sun kind of shining above it. I just want to point out that there is a man, if I can point right at the end of my finger, who's kneeling, kneeling on the steps, praying for our capital. There aren't many people here. <laughs> so anyway, it's nice to see a kindred spirit here praying for our country. And uh, I'd like to read uh, Psalms chapter two, if I can get it here. And start with that. Why do nations conspire and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break off their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs and the Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings be wise, be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son or he will be angry and your way will lead you to destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. It is Jesus Christ who is the blessed one who sits on the throne and is in all power and authority. And the nations belong to Jesus. And so today we bring our nation, the United States of America, uh, to God in prayer. And I just want to lift up to you um, specific people that are um, that serve our country in uh, the legislative branch. I pray blessings on these people. I pray, Father God, for the Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and the Minority Leader Chuck Schumer in our Senate. I pray, Father God, for the House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, the Majority Leader. Uh, Steny Hoyer, the Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Majority Whip Jim Clyburn, and the Minority Whip Steve Scalise. I pray, Father God, that they would be right with God and also with man. I pray, God, that you would bless them, that you would keep them, that you would make their your face shine upon them and be gracious to them, and you would give them peace. We also pray, Father God, that they would seek your guidance for a nation falls, um, lack of guidance, a nation falls, but many advisors makes victory sure. So we pray, Father God, for the advisors of our nation, that they would fear you. It also says in your word, God, that wisdom is sweet to your soul. If you find it, there is a future hope for you and your hope will not be cut off. So we pray, Father God, that we seek your wisdom. In fact, it says in your word that uh, if anyone lacks wisdom, that they should ask for it and you will give it without finding any fault. So I pray, God, that our leaders would seek your wisdom and it would be sweet to their soul and they would have a discernment in uh, the passing of our um, bills and laws. I pray, Father God, also, it says in your word, know the condition of the flocks. Give careful attention to their needs. So I pray, God, that these um, representatives would pay, pay close attention to what our needs are in this country. All the different individuals, all the different states they come from. Um, they represent us, God. I pray, God, that you would protect our democracy. I pray uh, the democracy with the republic. God, you're so good. We trust you. We put our hope in you. And we put our hope in Jesus Christ, the one who is in power and authority over all things. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.